Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I wanna talk about some of the differences in the various Wacom pens. So for instance, I have the grip pen that comes with the Wacom Intuos Pro and the older Cintiq models. This is a really great pen. I use this every day for drawing. Next, we have the airbrush. This is a specialty kind of Wacom pen for people who want to try to emulate the style of airbrushing with a real airbrush. So it has a little wheel on the side where you can control a special wheel expression in Corel Painter and maybe Photoshop and some other applications. Next, we have the art pen. This senses barrel rotation, so I can rotate this pen 360 degrees and there's an expression in Corel Painter and possibly Photoshop and other applications where you can change the rotation of the angle of the palette knife. So this is really cool. Next, we have the Wacom Pro Pen. This is very similar to the Grip Pen. It comes with the Cintiq Companion, and I think it comes with the newer Cintiq 27 QHD. And this is a really nice pen here. It is pretty much the same pen as the Grip Pen, but it has a little bit of silver around the buttons and it's weighted a little bit differently. It's a little bit lighter, I think. So it's a very nice pen. Next, we have the pen that comes with the Wacom Intuos Pen & Touch. This is kind of the older version of the newer generation of Wacom tablets. So this came out a couple of years ago and it's a pretty good tablet. You can see that it has an eraser on the end and a couple buttons. All of these previous pens have erasers on the end, which you can use to erase mistakes. However, this pen for the newer Wacom Intuos Art, Draw, Comic, and Photo does not have an eraser because people don't actually really use the erasers very much. So they decided that in these versions of the tablets, they don't really need to add them. But if you wanted to go with the Intuos Pro or some of the older models to have an eraser, you have that option. All of these pens have shortcut buttons on the side, two shortcuts that you can program to erase or resize your brush or right click. It's all very handy. They all have nibs that are basically the same. Some of them have specialty nibs. You can replace these nibs, but the standard nib is just kind of a plastic rounded nib. On the Intuos Art here, it has kind of a more sharper point to it. And the nibs are a little bit thicker on the Pro and the Grip and a little bit thinner on the Intuos Pin and Touch, the Intuos Art and the Airbrush. So as I mentioned, there's nibs and there's quite a few different kinds of nibs. You can see these are the little pen holders for each tablet. So this is the little set of nibs that comes with the Intuos Art. There's some chisel edge nibs that are kind of flat on one side and tapered on the other so that you can use those to kind of rotate and simulate a palette knife. And then the other nibs are just kind of short and pointy. Here are some nibs that came with the airbrush. For example, there's a little nib here that has kind of like a little spring midway. So when you're drawing with it, it's kind of supposed to feel like a brush almost when you're painting. Here's the nibs that came with my Cintiq. There are some felt tip nibs, which feel like they're made of felt, so it kind of simulates a marker. There's some more of those spring nibs. There's a little rubbery nib with kind of a rubbery grippy tip, and then a whole bunch of standard nibs. Now, as far as cross compatibility, one of the questions I've been getting lately is, can you use the pen from the Intuos Pen & Touch on the newer Intuos Art and vice versa? And the answer is no. With these particular tablets, you have to use the pen that's designed for this tablet. However, for the more professional tablets like the Cintiq Companion and the Cintiq Models and the Intuos Pro, you can use any of these professional pens. So the Grip Pen, the Pro Pen, the Airbrush, the Art Pen. I can use any of these pens on this or on my Cintiq or on an Intuos Pro, and they're all cross compatible. So anyways, that's a look at some of the Wacom pens. Wait a minute, that's a Sharpie. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe now to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.